From CNN Center in Atlanta, coverage of Election 2000 continues. Here again, Judy Woodruff, Bernard Shaw, Jeff Greenfield, and Bill Schneider. It is 8 o'clock on the East Coast, 16 states. The polls have closed the District of Columbia, and we have an important call to make in the state of Michigan. But we're showing you Texas. No surprise there, George Bush wins. The stunner at this hour is that we can call Al Gore the winner in the Wolverine state. This is the state where Reagan Democrats were born, working class people who went Republican on values issues and then on the economy and then on strength. Clinton got them back in 92 and 96, a bitterly contested state. Al Gore takes it and the map for George Bush gets even tougher. In the state of Pennsylvania, the Keystone State, too close to call at this hour, still being battled out by the Vice President and Governor Bush. Another one, this one Bush, it looks like is going to have to win to, to build his margin. In Illinois, I'm sorry, Missouri, uh, too close to call. This one uh, is, uh, to, and we're skipping ahead to Illinois, Al Gore the winner there. These Midwest battleground states, uh, which George Bush's campaign thought they were going to be very competitive in, they haven't won one yet, and with Michigan and Illinois and Pennsylvania too close to call, but you add Michigan and Illinois to Florida, and Al Gore's people must be feeling very good about now. And again, in the state of Missouri, it's 11 electoral votes still being fought out. This is a state where the governor running for the Senate, Mel Carnahan, uh, killed tragically in a plane crash through this whole election in this state, really uh, upside down for some time. And again, this is one of those states we always point to because except for 1956, it has gone with the winner in every election since 1900. In New Jersey, CNN able to say that Al Gore is the winner. Uh, George Bush was in there campaigning this very weekend. But uh, it, is, uh, it appears that Al Gore uh, has won New Jersey in its 15 electoral votes. Massachusetts, uh, no surprise, a state the Democrats can count on in just about every election you can think of. Al Gore winning and taking its 12 electoral votes. The state of Tennessee, it's Al Gore's home state, but he is not able to count on it. Jeff Greenfield, it's too close to call. But again, in the Bush calculation, when they told us, well, we can win without Florida, a state like Tennessee was one of the states they had in mind. He went there kind of drew a line on the sand, said Al Gore may win Washington, D.C., but he's not winning Tennessee. We can't say one way or the other, but if this one doesn't fall for Bush, it's trouble. Maryland, the free state, uh, rel reliably Democratic, and Al Gore wins that, takes its 10 electoral votes. Alabama, a state uh, I guess we thought George Bush would uh, we'd be able to say at this hour, another one, too close to call. Connecticut, Al Gore, the winner, in, uh, in the Constitution state, and it's eight electoral votes. Oklahoma, it's eight electoral votes. Go to Texas Governor George W. Bush, the governor of the neighboring state of Texas. Mississippi, another win for the Texas governor, and it's seven electoral votes. Kansas, Bob Dole's home state, we just heard from him, in solidly in George Bush's corner, and it's six electoral votes. Up in the far northeastern corner of the United States, Maine, it's four electoral votes still up for grabs, still being battled out between Gore and Bush. And finally, the nation's capital, the District of Columbia. No surprise at all, Al Gore the winner. And finally, Delaware in this 8 o'clock count, Al Gore the winner. That, that is a state where George Bush had been making threatening noises, but it looks like Al Gore has called it. Here is how... And we want to add that we are able at this hour to say the state of North Carolina is in George Bush's corner. This is a poll that closed about half an hour ago in North Carolina and its 14 electoral votes go to, go to George Bush. Looking at the map, the national map at this hour, you need 270 to win to become president. At this hour, it couldn't be any closer. I guess it could be by two votes, but Bush <laughs> has 121, Al Gore at 119. It is a cliffhanger, gentlemen.